firstly, it's been going on for 30 years, and I get really annoyed when people say it takes 15 years to build a reactor. Well, if you'd gotten started when the debate started, we wouldn't even be having this conversation, would we? So let's get on with it. But they say, oh, would you want a nuclear reactor in your backyard? Yes, give me. Give me that nuclear reactor in yeah. my backyard. Uh, we're 100%. up to stage four. It's, it's not like it's Chernobyl. Yeah. I mean, we don't have Russians running it, so it's a little bit different. And yeah. we're up to, I think it's stage four, from what I understand, nuclear reactors. They are small. They're not 15 years to build. They're a lot less nowadays. So we don't have to go the full hog right away. Mm. Um, but, gosh, you want the zero emissions? Bring on nuclear power. Yeah, and, you know, I don't agree with the French on anything, but, you know, they, they don't have mail-out ballots, which is good. And the other thing is Emmanuel, Emmanuel Macron was lecturing an Australian journalist when the journalist said, do you think, what do you think we should do about nuclear? And he's like, well, you should end the ban. What's wrong with you guys? You know, we, we're reaching net zero, you know, through nuclear. We wouldn't be able to do it any other way. I mean, it's probably the well, only thing Macron got right. I was a member for Hughes and I was the only member of parliament that had a nuclear reactor in his electorate. Yeah, Lucas Hyde. In fact, the reactor was about five minutes away mm. from my electoral office. Mm.